Have you ever gone through a traumatic situation? I'm talking about a situation that literally shakes you. Hi there, and thank you so much for joining us. Today, trauma is the trust of our conversation. For me, I have had traumatic experiences right from childhood because I grew up receiving betrayal and just, uh, just disapproval from people that I felt that needed to approve me, people that I felt that needed to uh, show me love and comfort. So all of that, what all of that has done for me is that it has made me uh, just difficult for me to begin to trust people but I'm learning how to trust and how to love and I'm understanding that sometimes people hurt you not because they really want to hurt you but because they don't even know how to love you and that they too are hurt themselves so that's how I'm coping with all of my traumatic situations trauma is a trust of a conversation and I'm of course in the company of my gang of friends Taco Basil and Sylvia Winding hello guys hello somebody it is quite unfortunate that we we have to experience trauma every now and then in life and i think that makes life complete in my case my childhood has actually been a shock and that was particularly because everyone around me you know were not everyone so many people around me the people i thought i could rely on died when i was still very tender so at some point i felt like i was not going to make it in life hey guys i mean glasses today long story story for another day probably <laughs> but the story today is trauma the most traumatic experience i've had would have to be a couple of years back so i was volunteering at this ngo and they had us go to rural communities to help them carve out developmental projects locally so one day i'm having a meeting with the villagers and a woman falls into labor Naturally, people run out to see where the sound's coming from. And this woman is being carried on a ladder. Yes, an actual wooden ladder. In all the pain, all the pain that possibly comes with childbirth, this woman is on a wooden ladder. Now in that community, there was no electricity, no pipe on water, no roads, no health facilities. So they used ladders as gurneys and they were transporting this woman to the next village because that was the nearest health facility to them. They had known in their villages. So imagine going through that. I, it shook me. It shook me in a way that I've never been shook before in my life. I couldn't. Ever since I had that experience, I had nightmares. I just really had nightmares because of that and there were days I couldn't sleep it was it really worried me it really worried me that this was people's own lives and to think that most of them thought oh it's a normal thing and I was like how is this okay so my way of coping with it to be honest I'm not sure that I'm completely over it so my way of coping with it is just by staying grateful grateful thinking this woman would have loved this this woman would have appreciated this if she had it so so since i had that experience it completely changed me to like i appreciate things now in such a different way i was pushed into this place of gratitude that i never even knew existed you know how we sit in the cities and complain oh this particular health facility facility sorry the nurses are so rude it's so dirty it's so this it's so that being in the midst of people that would literally do anything to have that people that would consider that a luxury it changes you it changes the way you see everything so i'm such a grateful person now i'm grateful for the little thing yes of course i, I think a psychologist could have been of help psychology a psychology is known uh, to be a master of that science of the mind so he could have helped but you know my parents and everyone else around me were able to take me out of it. I have fought so hard and I'm fighting even now. And everything is fine. Do I need a psychologist again? No, I don't think so. All is well. So yes, if you ask me what I think, psychologists actually help people out of trauma. I think so, because they actually make you 
by answering the questions that he asks you, they actually make you see a very raw and real form of yourself and your role in this thing that you're going through. And it actually makes you see it from a different and factual point of view. So I think that psychology works. I think it does. I think that if we all had a session once in a while, this world may be a better place because half the time that thing drives you crazy. It does. So psychology? Yep. I have done some reading and studying on psychology and what I realized about it is psychology isn't necessarily about telling you I've been there, I know what you're feeling. It's not about relating to your pain or to whatever it is. It's about basically navigating you through it. Like, okay, fine, you're here. How do we take you out of there? There's a slogan or something in psychology that they say that patient heal thyself. So it's basically making you understand that the pain is within you and the healing is within you as well. So they sort of take you through all the things you're feeling, make you exploit everything and heal yourself through it. So yeah. And so that's all we have time for. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Our Facebook page is The Rafa Show. Please do like our page so that you can get, you can just keep up with us on Facebook. And on YouTube, please click subscribe so that you can get instant notifications when new videos are uploaded. Bye bye now.